Hello everyone, I hope everyone is having a great day in these weird times, let's say with coronavirus. Right now I'm in Madrid and uh, we are actually pretty stuck in the house, I guess, like everyone is. Um, so basically this video is going to be about how to actually plan your workouts and like keep on uh, basically training even though you cannot go out. And so what I'll do is I'll basically uh, make you a walkthrough of the pool session that I'm going to have with my flatmate. So it's probably going to be like five or six exercises and it's probably going to be around one hour long. And then after this workout, I'll actually go over a few more general tips on how to actually plan your workouts uh, while at home. So make sure to stay until the end of the video. See you now. All right, guys, so I'm basically catching you here now. I'm going to be doing a little commentary over the whole workout that we've done with my flatmate Chris uh, yesterday, basically. So I just hope that the format actually works and that you enjoy it. So yeah, let's just dive right into it. So starting with, we have like a full body warm up. So that one is pretty straightforward. Uh, we're doing every uh, upper body part. So first shoulder, a few reps on the left, on the right. Then we have some scrapular retraction. So that one is basically just uh, putting the shoulders behind yourself. Then we have a bit of elbow movement as well to make sure uh, that the elbows are wor like well worked up. Uh, wrist as well to make sure nothing gets injured in the process. And we're going to be finishing with a little bit of uh, neck, uh, basically circles, and uh, I think lower back, exactly. So this is like a very uh, simple and straightforward warm, warm up to make sure you don't get injured. First exercise, so we have some inverted rowing. So that one, you'll actually need another person to help you as well as any kind of stick that can actually hold you up. So the whole point here is to pull yourself towards the bar. Uh, so a few tips to perform the exercise well. Uh, first one is actually to keep the scrapula retracted at all times. So that means that you want your shoulders behind your back. You don't want them rounded up like that. Second tip is also to make sure your elbows are tucked in uh, when you pull. You don't want them out because if you do, you might have a lot of shoulder engagement and we want to avoid that as much as possible. Uh, third one, also make sure that when you're pulling, you're pulling yourself towards the pecs, not towards the face, neither towards the ab, because that would mean that your axis is basically not right and that would, you would have either the shoulder or other parts of the body actually working. So second exercise here, we have like uh, some unilateral uh, horizontal rowing. So that one is uh, pretty straightforward. We just basically uh, pull on one side. Uh, same, we also want to keep the uh, elbow tucked in and we want to make sure that the scrapula is retracted all, all the time, basically during the movement. So that's very similar to the first exercise. Uh, for this one, I believe that we used our strongest bands. So the most, like the biggest resistance that we have. Um, as you can see, like the setup is pretty sketchy. This can literally be done with any kind of pen that you have at home. Uh, so it's a pretty like a cool exercise that you can do anywhere at any time. Um, so now we're going to be jumping into the third exercise, uh, which I believe is going to be biceps curl. So for that one, I decided to actually uh, stay standing. Um, this allows me, as you can see, I'm not going all the way up because like the range is way more restricted, but I need, I'm not like going all the way down either. Uh, the goal here is to keep uh, the contraction at all times on the biceps. So you can see I'm not lifting the weight, like the, the, the bends all the way down. So this helps having a very good pump and a very good contraction of the muscles. Chris actually chose to do it uh, basically being sat down. So that one is more like a concentration curl, uh, where basically the elbows are actually secured by the knees. This actually enables the biceps to work uh, as the only muscle and to make sure they're very like isolated, basically. Uh, going on to the fourth exercise, we are going to have some um, reversed biceps curl. So on that one, we basically use the band that is actually attached to the door uh, or a rope, I would say. It's not a band, it's a rope, actually. And here the goal is basically to pull yourself towards uh, this rope. A um, few things to make sure the movement is on point. You want to make sure that the elbows are staying up. You don't want them down because if you do, you're probably going to have shoulders involved in the movement. So make sure you keep your elbows up and that you pull towards your face. Uh, here we can see Krish actually performing the exercise as well. You can also vary the distance between your two hands. The more you do it in the center, the more you're going to be focusing the inner part of the biceps. And the more you do it apart, the more you're going to be focusing the outer of the biceps. Um, then we go on to the fifth, which is basically a face pulse. Face pulls using bands. So here the goal is to work the back of the shoulder, so the, the third uh, the third ligament. Uh, here we are basically pulling towards the face with the hands pulling first. We don't want the elbows pulling first, we want the hands pulling first. Uh, also make sure you're not pulling too much down because if you do, you're gonna be working mostly the back. Um, here Chris is actually doing an, like an alternative to this uh, exercise I just showed you, uh, which is like more kind of a cross movement. Here the goal is to keep your arms straight as much as possible. And the goal is to basically pull yourself towards uh, the, the point where the rope is actually attached to uh, by pulling the rope support, the two rope support, all right? So here, this is also supposed to work the back of the shoulder and 
the upper back as well. Last exercise, sixth one. Uh, here is basically we wanted to reproduce the movement that we could get from a vertical uh, rowing. So like let's say lat pull downs, for instance, by being uh, laid down on the floor. So here we actually got some very good sensations. Uh, the whole point here is to also keep the shoulder pretty much tucked in to make sure that we actually uh, focus the lats as much as possible. Uh, and also make sure to try and keep your muscle mind connection at all times very focused on the back. What that means is like focus heavily with your brain on only pulling using this part of the back. Of the back. You don't need, you, you must make sure that your biceps is not too much engaged, all right? Uh, then we're going to be basically seeing how Chris is ending this exercise and next I'm just going to be doing a little posing like 15 seconds to kind of show uh, my current um, body weight and basically my current physique and then we'll jump into the like few other tricks I have in order to plan a better workout. So I'll see you next time. Alright guys, so that's it basically for the workout. I hope uh, the way I actually edited it actually helped and it worked. Uh, so now I'm basically gonna go back on very general tips uh, on why and how you should keep on doing sports or even actually starting doing sports while being uh, quarantined. Uh, so obviously I guess that most people watching this video are uh, gonna be stuck at home um, probably for a few weeks now already. For myself, it's been, I think, close to a month now in Madrid. Um, and so basically the first thing I wanted to mention uh, and also linking it to the last video that I posted and I, you should actually go and watch if you haven't watched it yet. When you are stuck and your whole schedule and your whole routine actually changes because you're not doing the same, like the things that you used to do, it becomes very easy to actually start implementing more and more negative behaviors in your routine, in your schedule. Why is that? Well, because obviously staying at home, um, no one is going to be forcing you anymore to, for instance, uh, wake up at a certain time if you're not working. Or if you have class or you're working, maybe you're not going to be dressed up the same way. You're not going to make the little effort to get these fresh rangers in the morning. And sports has to stay in your routine. It's vital. Why? Because sport actually can be a huge pillar and help you basically keep this kind of structure that you might actually be starting to miss out on if you, for instance, are not working as much anymore, if you don't go to class anymore, if you don't do the things that, that you used to do. So doing sports is very, very useful. Uh, for instance, like I know there's a lot of people who actually start like playing way more like video games, uh, for instance, or even watching like a lot of Netflix, uh, doing a lot of things that in the end, yes, on the, like in the moment, they make you feel like kind of good and you know, you're just like relaxing but you're not advancing you're kind of stuck like you're not doing anything productive anymore and this actually builds up into everything in your life now we're going a bit more into uh, how to actually plan your trainings and so whether you're actually picking a uh, home training uh, for the first time or you already have done it in the past this is actually going to help like apply to everyone um, the first thing is to make sure that you settle the goal why are you going to be training at home if the reasons that I actually just mentioned are enough, that's already a valid reason. If it's just to keep like this kind of healthy rhythm and to make sure that you have this structure that is going to be forcing you, let's say four, three times a week to, okay, wake up or to do it like after work and to make sure that you get your daily sports in, like it's, it's, it's actually a very good thing. Then you can have any other kind of objectives. You can like already think about summer, even though obviously we don't know what's going to happen with um, our possibilities during the summer. Still, this can be an objective. Okay, I want to lose that many uh, kilos uh, in this amount of time. So basically any kind of incentives could actually be valid as long as you make sure that you target a specific goal at first. Um, so basically going into this goal, now you're gonna have to establish a plan that is gonna be in accordance to what you wanna reach and the amount of things that you're able to do. So first be honest with yourself. Like if you don't wanna train every day, that's totally fine, but you have to make sure that you follow what you set yourself to. So if you say, okay, let's say I'm gonna train only uh, I don't know, let's say three times a week, all right? Uh, I'm gonna train, also set a time. Don't just say I'll train whenever. No, you have to make sure that you actually set a time and that you stick to it. So let's say that you train three times a week. Uh, you also want to make sure that you know what kind of training you're aiming for. So if your goal is to actually develop, let's say strength, you want to make sure that you do exercises that are gonna be mostly engaging different body parts. So let's say whenever you do a bench press with bands, you're gonna be having both the pecs, the triceps and also a bit of the shoulder involved, right? So the goal is to 
target those specific exercises and to keep the reps pretty low with high resistances or high weights. On the other hand, if your goal is actually to develop some kind of muscle mass or to actually just keep a very toned body, here you want to do the opposite and actually work in pretty high ranges uh, with pretty low weights. Um, so overall, like I'm going to be covering, I'm going to be covering in the next videos either way, uh, very various types of training, whether that's calisthenics, which are like more body weight orientated, or I'm also going to be doing more strength. I'm going to be doing more cardio. I'm going to be doing a bit of everything to kind of like give you insights of all the possibilities that you have, even with a uh, very limited gear. But in the end, the, the, the key like point to actually uh, take from this video is that there's no reason and no excuses not to do something. And in a way, like being confined is a way of not being distracted by anyone else because the only person you're going to be with like all the time is yourself. So why not take actually like this opportunity and actually make use of it? Why not use like sports to actually structure your days or your weeks in order to actually achieve like goals that you would probably never have actually tried to aim for if you didn't have the opportunity to stay at home all the time. So this is actually a great way to try and also to test yourself on how discipline and how dedicated you really are so overall i hope that there's actually a few like takeaways that you were able to catch in the video uh, i truly believe that um, this time uh, you know in history is actually going to be remembered um, because of everything negative that is happening but also because of all the changes it's going to bring for sure you know a lot of questions now are being asked on um, the basically the flaws that we have in the systems in the schools in a lot of ways and also like on an individual level, if we actually manage to use it as a way to gain some resilience and to actually come up stronger, we'll also have some positive that will come out of this crisis. So overall, um, if this video, video helped you, make sure to actually let me know by just dropping a like. This is like, you know, now everyone does ask, ask for one, but it helps quite a lot, even more when starting a channel. Also make sure that you watch my two last videos if you haven't so far. And uh, yeah, I just hope that uh, you could actually use this video in your advantage. So see you very soon and thank you for watching.